Hello everyone, my name is Arden, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at set 76903, the Chevrolet Corvette C8R race car, and the 1968 Chevrolet Corvette. So this set is suggested for ages 8 and up. It has 512 pieces. The two cars, also two minifigures, and of course it's under the LEGO Speed Champions line. And uh, yeah, uh, let's... I'm going to take a look at the box first and then the cars. So the box is quite nice. Uh, the two cars are on a racetrack there. In the background, you can see a very, it uh, looks like the exact same build for that uh, C8R uh, Chevrolet Corvette there. And then a yellow version of that C8R Corvette there. Uh, so like a Sweet Champions there, the Chevrolet logo, and then here is the two cars there and like a Sweet Champions And on the back you can see the actual cars a minifigure in one of the cars and then the back of the cars Which I think looks really really nice. So now I will take a look at the builds So here are the two cars built and there are two minifigures, but before I look at those minifigures I'll take a look at the cars. So, this set uh, costs $40 Canadian, which for two cars is uh, pretty good, um, considering that a solo car costs uh, $25. So you're getting two for 40 which is pretty good. Um, and I think these are really, really good cars, and one of my favorite two-packs that I think I've seen. So this is the C8R uh, race car, the Chevrolet Corvette, of course. This one probably has one of the most stickers, uh, some of the most stickers in uh, one Speed Champion set, uh, in a solo Speed Champion set, uh, probably uh, some of the most. Um, for one set, it's probably maybe that, uh, the uh, Ford GT and the Bronco maybe, because uh, the uh, 19... Uh, 68 uh, Corvette here doesn't have as many stickers, so I'm guessing it's probably that one, but this one Does have quite a few it also has a couple prints uh, those being right here, but the headlights are stickers Which I don't have an issue with I'm pretty happy when uh, the headlights are stickers just because like say the um, The um, Toyota Supra uh, from earlier this year, which I have a review up of the headlights look a little weird uh, with the different angles they're at, but you can uh, have the stickers a little closer together, which can improve the uh, look of the set. There's uh, a few more here, one there, 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 really going all through up here. This is a print right here on the uh, windshield there, um, and uh, two more, and these two back here, this Sirius XM logo right back there is also a sticker and these lines all uh, go up throughout it which uh, look quite nice there's a few more on the sides which will have uh, same stickers just of course different uh, so that it fits the side and then the back of it which i really like the look of this is the uh, back uh, lights um, just how flat everything is i really just like how it looks this is probably one of my favorite backs of the car, even though it's not super detailed. I I really love that um, the uh, McLaren Elva earlier this year, the back of that with the axe heads uh, looked really, really cool. And also a uh, set coming later this year uh, in North America, at least I know it's coming January 2022 for everywhere else, uh, is the uh, Batma Batmobile for the new Batman movie coming out in March. Uh, the back of that looks uh, really nice. So overall, I think this design is really, really nice. I like the different angles throughout it. The uh, wheels look nice. Uh, the side, uh, the different pieces to create this angle looks really cool. The uh, Nexo Knight's shield piece with these pieces, they just come together really, really nice. I've always loved how this uh, windshield piece just comes together with these pieces so nice. Um, if you look at it that angle, it just looks really nice. The shaping here is cool. That that sticker with that like uh, head right there is another nice one. Uh, just the front of it, the back of it, the sides. I think it all just looks really, really, really nice. Um, you can open it up, which uh, gives you access for two seats uh, for the minifigures. 
unlike some other sets, this uh, one's uh, console area just has the steering wheel. It's not super detailed compared to like that McLaren Alva one, which is interior was really good, just had that big issue of the seats not being the best color. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice build. I really like this set, but the next build I like even more and is probably my favorite out of all the builds of this Speed Champions, maybe my favorite Speed Champions build ever, and that's the 1968 Corvette. Uh, I just love the dark red color. I'm a big fan of dark red, probably one of my favorite colors, maybe next to purple or like a dark blue. Some of my favorite colors. The stickers here look really nice. You know, looking at the pictures at the back of this box, I don't know if this is the best rep representation of this set, uh, just like angles wise, like especially the back here, I don't think it's the best. Uh, but I don't know what you'd use for pieces, but as a Lego set and not comparing it to the actual car Even though of course you want it to be like the actual car. Uh, I Just love this set. Uh, there's quite a few stickers here You can see those ones at the bottom there same ones right there another sticker here now one thing you'll see throughout this is a problem with dark red uh, This is a big example of it. You can see it really on this side is uh, this piece right here compared to this piece darker lighter and that just doesn't look too nice now mine is pretty good there's a few examples of it especially with this particular piece and i think it might be a piece issue here is that it looks like this one compared to all the other ones is dark there's a few others that yeah that piece again comes uh, appears right here which is a bit dark so that's a little disappointing uh, the back of it is nice. Uh, you can see the Corvette logo there. A license plate, which I don't know if that means anything to maybe the designers or something like that. Uh, the uh, back lights there instead of a sticker are done with actual pieces, which is nice. The prints, there's a couple prints right there, which look nice. And the front, I really just love, love the design of this uh, car. So now uh, the minifigures. So here is the one that goes along with the C8R uh, race car Corvette. Uh, so it's in its like uh, just racing uniform. It looks like a nice minifigure. I really don't care too much about the minifigures in this set as an accessory there, which comes with all the Speed Champions minifigures, it seems. And the printing here is not the best because it's printed on black. And it's the biggest issue here is it's because uh, the white legs since those are white and this is not white, it just doesn't look good. If those were printed on black legs and you saw that white, I think it'd look fine because it, it would actually match it. But because of just the biggest, the huge contrast of color there, it just doesn't look too good. The back printing, you can see the Corvette logo and uh, writing there. Because the white helmet, the uh, face print is a nice one. No back face print there. And there's the hairpiece that goes with the minifigure. Overall, nice minifigure. I would like to see an improvement in the printing. But, uh, you know, um, minifigures just aren't a huge deal for me when it comes to Speed Champion sets. But I do really like this next one. Probably one of my favorite or one of my favorite Speed Champions minifigure I've seen. Because it just seems like a figure that... It's not in a racing outfit, and you just put in your Lego City as just a normal person. And uh, that's this uh, minifigure right here as a leather jacket, black leather jacket, white shirt with the Corvette logo, which once again, the printing is not the best, but because you don't have any other white in this uh, minifigure that you can compare that to, it doesn't look too bad. I know it's meant to be white, not like a darker gray. But I don't have really a big problem with it. I like that face print. The hair piece is nice. No back face print. But taking off the hair, you can see a, uh, another Corvette logo. Which looks quite nice. Um, so yeah. That is the minifigure of this set. Oh, one more thing. She also comes with a helmet there for when she's driving the car. And that can go up and down like that. So yeah, that was the set, um, the uh, 1968 Corvette and the C8R Racing uh, Corvette. So uh, this set I think is a really, really amazing set. There's quite a few stickers which I've gotten accustomed to when it comes to Speed Champion sets, so if you're not a big fan of stickers, 
uh, I would say there's some here that are for sure important to the set, um, but some you probably could uh, leave and it wouldn't look too bad. So overall, I'd really suggest this set at the price of $40. I don't think you can go wrong with it. Um, you get two cars here and I think they're really good ones. Sometimes I find with these double packs of speed champion sets, you can have one which is really nice and one that's just, eh, it's so-so. But this one I think has two really, really amazing cars and two of my favorite speed champion sets of since the theme is existed and in this year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.